Hello everybody and welcome back to the series. We have house, we have achieved house. The last run was pretty awesome and it allowed us to achieve house. But now, now we have something special. There is a door. A strange door. What is this door, you may ask? It's a door that contains the secrets of the world. Um, no, let's have a little look if the game will load. This is the first time we're trying this mod, so we will see. It might just have crashed. Nope. Mm, there's, there's noises happening. The sure is noises happening. This is ominous. Okay, there you go. Right. Now we have this. This is a mod that most people know. And I have been um, sort of teasing that I was going to add for a while, but it's finally here. And that is because we have finally unlocked a method of unlocking said characters. So we're going to play as Tainted Maggie today and try to unlock Tarnished Maggie. Now, the method for unlocking Tarnished Maggie is a little weird. Um, apparently, we have to use Yumheart in a sacrifice room and then kill Mum's heart with a bleeding heart or something along those lines. I, well, I didn't exactly follow what it was telling me to do, but it's something like that. Um, soul Heart there, lovely. Extra few keys to start us off. But yeah. First off, we are playing as Tainted Maggie, which is a character that probably most of you know I absolutely adore. This character is so much fun. It makes so many items just so much better and more enjoyable. And she's just one of those characters that in the early game especially is just really fun to play around with. Um, ooh, Balrog's head's also pretty good here. I will definitely take that. And um, yeah, we're, we're on the lookout for a... Um, for a sacrifice room. It doesn't matter when we get it, I don't think, but I'm guessing whatever it gives us is going to be an active item, so we're going to have to pay attention to that and uh, and swap out whatever we currently have, I would imagine. I don't actually know for sure. Don't, uh, don't expect me to know all the, the secrets of this mod, because I don't know. Um, but this is a mod that a lot of people in the modding community use and I've just never really got round to. I'll be honest, this mod never really took, uh, like, I never really fancied it. It was never really a mod that I expected to play. But for one, I, I get requests for it all the time. But also, two on top of that, um, it recently got a pretty significant rework to some of the characters. Both uh, Tarnished Isaac, Tarnished Maggie, and one of the other characters got kind of reworked to be a lot more enjoyable, at least in my opinion. Um, because before, they were a little shoddy in some areas, um, at least in my opinion. Really? I was just about to say, none of those dropped hearts. They did, though. It's good. It's all good. We got him into second phase, luckily. I'm not sure what this uh, little green casing that was going to do. Okay. We do have to care. We do have yum hearts, so if we start losing health too rapidly, we can do that. But this is a rather annoying boss, as we all know, and... As you know, I'm not very good at, so we'll see how this goes. He's going to throw his little bomb at me. It'll do its thing. I'll stand directly in the way for some reason. I'll use Yum Heart. I'm going to bomb him here because I think I've got time. Yeah, that did it. Nice one. Okay. Good, good. And we get the corn kernel, which is honestly not very good. Uh, we'll go to the regular floor here. Uh, Alt Path obviously is a good option for us, but um, using a new mod that's this big, uh, Epiphany, I know that we're not using a custom character yet. I just don't want to strain the game too much. I don't know how much extra lag this mod is going to add. With it being a significantly larger mod than the things I normally play, I'm going to guess that it's going to add some lag. But as I said, I cannot confirm. But as for the question of the day, as for the question of the day, what's so like a large mod in another game that you really enjoy? I know there's a lot of other games there that have some really crazy modding scenes. Mine, um, and it, th this is going to be a hard one to beat for me, like in any game ever is um, Nuclear Thrones Ultra Mod. Uh, I, I do play that on my channel from time to time, most weekends, not every weekend, but most weekends I upload an episode from uh, Ultra Mod. Honestly, that is one of the most polished, complete, glitch-free, content-heavy mods that I've ever played. It's genuinely outstanding how good that mod is. Um, like... Nuclear Throne nowadays, obviously, it's quite an old game. It doesn't really get the, the praise or attention that it used to. But, goddamn, people need to go back and play that mod. Because it is fantastic. Also, on top of that, it is redonkulously easy to install. Because it's literally just 
put all the files into your um, into your exe location, into your uh, game folder, and then click the new exe. Done. There's no other things, and there's just it's so content rich. There's so much to go. At. I I really I, I I genuinely can never really believe that it doesn't get as much attention. Um, as I think it deserves, because it was a it was a mod that actually uh, came out a really long time ago, but then kind of got abandoned for a long time. But then over the past year, the developer has come back to it and um, sort of brought it back to life, um, and they're still updating it to this day. It literally gets like an update pretty much every week. And like I said, it's so content rich. There's so much to do, and it changes so many things of the vanilla game and also impressively, it's actually built upon a very old patch of the game, but the developer managed to essentially re-add all of the things on the most recent up-to-date patch to the version that he's working on, which is, again, just impressive. He basically rebuilt some of the stuff the developers themselves had done, which, yeah, I just found impressive. Um, we're definitely not going to go Devil Deal here. Eye Drops is fine, but not great. I suppose when we mix it with Milk, uh, it's going to be quite good. Although, in real life, I feel like that's something you should never do. Eye Drops with Milk... For one, if you're consuming eye drops um, in, in any other way other than in your eye, I feel like you're probably going wrong somewhere there anyways. Um, do you know what? Let me... I don't think this will actually do much, but I'm going to put that there. I might as well do the D12 thing because it's pretty fun. I'm going to take this glass D100 and just see how this floor goes. So basically this thing here will do this and reroll everything. Um, and it's... Potentially pretty dangerous, but it could also be quite lucrative. It only activates outside of combat, so for the most part, it's not going to mess us up too much. Good. Yeah, for the most part, it's not going to be hugely disastrous. But it could reward us with some golden poops and, and things along those lines, which I always like to see. Good, good. Give me more hearts, please. So we, we basically want to wait a, a hot second at the end of every room to see what we end up getting. Because, like I said, it could be something that's quite lucrative to us. I'm going to use Yum Hearts. I don't know how much health I have. Oh, I didn't wait in that room. I literally just said about waiting. And then I was like, meh, what if I don't? I don't even know if I can redo that room now. Okay, I can. Good. You don't need to stood too close to anything when it happens, though, because it can spawn corn poop flies, and they can damage you pretty easily. A room like this is going to be very dangerous to stand in, to be honest. I'm just going to get really close to the door, just in case. Uh, yeah, that is a dangerous room. A lot of them are going to be like that, where there's potential of um, significant issues occurring. Okay, that's nice. But a lot of rooms don't have rocks and stuff. Ooh, 2020, um, I will definitely take. It didn't reroll these blocks, interestingly enough. Lowering our damage isn't actually that good because it, it lowers the damage of our uh, of our swings. But for the most part, I think it's fine. And yeah, now our, our tears are actually pretty good, which means when we head to the womb, we're not going to be as out of sorts as we would be. Still haven't had anything that's super, super useful yet. Unfortunately. Also, has milk just stopped working? Milk isn't giving me fire rate anymore, which is strange. Normally, milk gives you fire rate when it breaks, but I guess eye drops maybe broke it. So maybe mixing milk and eye drops isn't the right call. By the way, at the minute, there's our first golden poop. Um, by the way, I don't know why, but I'm not caffeinated or anything, but for some reason today, I'm just in like a really sort of hyped up mood. And I honestly couldn't, couldn't give you the information as to why that is. I just woke up today feeling very energized. I feel, I, I, I don't feel caffeinated, but I feel, I, I just feel energized and it's good. It's good shit. These enemies are slightly annoying. Any enemy that can like get knocked behind walls, I hate. Um, there is a golden chest back there we can now get to. Um... That's pretty good. In fact, that might be insanely good because if we don't fire a tier, now our, um, now our, what's it called, um, swing damage is going to be crazy. That's actually something I did not think about, but that's potentially incredibly valuable to us, actually. Uh, I don't think I'll be re-rolling my items now, so let me drop this class D100 before I end up making a mistake. 
Still no Sakurim, unfortunately. I'm really hoping that shows up soon. I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed at least one of run, so... But yeah, now our, now our swing damage can be really, really crazy. Percent is also amazing for us here. Good, good. Maybe it's upon first damaging an enemy rather than first firing, though, because I did lose the damage there. Let's let's find out. So we're at 21 now. Okay, no, it, 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 it also triggers on you getting hit. Okay, it's not quite as good as I thought. It's still good, though. It still means the first swing is always going to be a high damage swing, which is very nice. So you get out of here. I'm also, like mega proteined today which might be why i'm so high energy i had a protein shake for my breakfast i had a protein yogurt and a protein bar for my lunch and i i honestly don't really know why it was just what was in the house so i ended up having them so i'm just like od'd on protein right now which i don't actually think is plausible i think you can have as much protein as you like and you'll be fine um but i probably had about 100 grams of protein already today and I haven't eaten any meat, so... Um, we'll see how that goes. Yum heart. Come on, sack room. Reveal yourself to me. I don't know why my milk isn't working. That's a sentence you wouldn't... There's, there's a lot of things in Isaac that produce sentences you wouldn't ever think you'd find yourself saying. Like, at no point in my life did I ever think that I'd ever utter the sentence, My milk isn't working. Like, what do you, what does that even, in, in, in real life, what would that even mean? How can your milk not work? Like, I, I guess you could say it in terms of, like, it doesn't taste right. Like, it doesn't work with the meal that you're having. But, I don't know. That doesn't sound quite right. More HP ups are honestly fabulous for us here, so very happy with that. And that's actually pretty good. Um, on killing enemies, we can get random bits of HP. I'll also um, play you out as well, why not? Didn't actually get the hit there. What we need is blind rage for more iframes. Although we seem to have an insane amount of iframes already right now. Good, good. Grabby, grabby. We have to make our way all the way back now, which is going to mean we, yeah, we get go down to two hearts. We do have to be careful as Maggie is still easy to die, but um, it's not crazy high chance, so don't worry about it. But yes, I'm... Mighty energized. The speed ups there are absolutely fantastic. Okay, good. Yum Heart is back in play. Good, good. Oh, there's an Eternal Heart as well. We'll leave that before we uh, exit the floor. I'm liking the Balrog's head. It's definitely not as good as Bob's Rotten Head. But it's, it's useful. It's certainly... I'm certainly getting some use out of it. I do not mind it. Hello, bomber man. Your bombs are no match for me. Gimme, gimme. I want to use Yum Heart because I, I need to heal up. But at the same time, I also don't want to use it yet because... Um, I know that if I find a sack room and I don't have a charge for it, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, that time milk did work. Now I'm just confused. Right, get out of here. Maybe we just have milk active all the time. I'm not sure what's going on. Is this a secret room? I think it looks like a secret room to me. It's not. Okay. The framing just looked perfect for a secret room there. By the way, Placenta, something I found out is, um, it's from an Isaac Guru video, actually. It can only ever heal you on the minute. So when we hit 10 minutes there, it, uh, it healed us. But it's only ever a chance. It's only ever a chance on the minute to heal you. So every every, every minute that passes, you have a chance to heal, I believe it is. Or it, it might be every two minutes, actually. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's exactly every minute. Go on, Balrog's head. Do it to him. Honestly, let's yum heart now because we're going to be able to get a charge after this room here. Hey, we got a soul heart that time, finally. Get out of here, you weird face fellas.
Come on, there's a heart, lovely. Good, good. On that bad boy. And we got whatever that is. It hurts is really good. Basically, it hurts is just milk on crack, right? Um, upon destroying or rerolling this trinket, spawn two to four random pickups. I mean, I'll take it. Seems potentially interesting. And yeah, oh, there you go, on the minute. So it is, it is every minute. We got healed again on the minute, exactly. But it's only ever a chance on the minute. So you could go a really long time without being healed. But it's an interesting way of it working, to be honest. It's not how I'd expect it to work. Unfortunately, we did not get um, what we were looking for here. Still no Saccharum. It will reveal itself to us eventually. Do not fret. It will make its way towards us. But for right now, we grab our Eternal Heart. Because honestly, on Tainted Maggie, getting more health is just very, very useful. And we get the hell out of here. I am, I'm getting increasingly worried that we're not going to find a Saccharum. I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to get one a run, right? Right? Please, game. Tell me I'm correct. We'll use Yum Heart again there. I really love the way Eternal Hearts look in the UI and on the floor now that we've uh, changed the mod that we're using. They're a lot better. Having them as their own unique full heart is, is, is good. I like it. Oh, that was, that was a rock that I just hit there. I did not realise. Okay, nice. Yeah, it hurts is... Very good, because for one, it's going to do a blast of tears when we activate it. But also, it gives us a tears up alongside milk. Um, so, it's it's really just a better version of milk. And considering we have milk as well, we're going to be able to gain a lot of tears up here. It's pretty good. We are going to lose this heart here pretty fast, unfortunately. I don't think it's longed for this world, I'll be honest. Oh, thank you for walking directly into that fire there. I do love to see that. Yeah, it's gone already. It doesn't have iframes, so it can be taken out really fast. It's weird that it doesn't have iframes. I like the way that when I throw that while at high damage, the Balrog's head is, like, massive for some reason. Come on, you. Good, good, good. But yes, it's nice to be... Fully energized. I've been, I've, I've, I've quit caffeine for a really long time now, so um, that's been going well actually. It's, I kind of got over the hump. It takes a little while, especially if you're a caffeine addict like I was, to like get over the hump of um, drinking caffeine. But once you get past it, it's not really so bad. You end up feeling a lot more alert than normal. I realized that most of the time I was ever feeling alert, I wasn't really feeling alert. I was feeling caffeinated. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best. Got a library here. Yum heart, why not? Check this out. Um, Book of Shadows is very, very good. Um, what is this? On use, the player will use the power of electromagnetism. Getting stronger on each activation in the same room. Um, the levels of chance of the charge... Oh, interesting. So you get, like, different items based on your charge of it. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to stick with what I've got, but I'm definitely going to take Bookworm first. Yeah, Book of Shadows is incredibly good for us. Um, basically means we can use our uh, melee pretty much as much as we want, essentially freely. Does mean we don't activate It Hurts and stuff, though, so it does have downsides. We're not actually taking damage anymore. That would be really good, actually. But it also means that we can get melee kills while not taking damage in order to heal quite a lot. Because we're gaining net HP. Tier game, I will always take. It's a very wacky item. A fun one, too. I would very much like that. Piercing buddies. We don't have any buddies, so that's fine. Good. Oh, we've got explosive shots here. I'll take them, why not? D7 effect I don't really need. Got some bouncy shots in here too. Yeah, tier game's just going to randomise our tier effect to every single kill that we get. 
can create for, can, can like create some very wacky situations and maybe in like undesirable situations in some circumstances but overall it's a it's a net positive for me i think troll bombs i don't care Okay, there is one room remaining. I, I'm gonna leave it because I could get boss rush here if I'm if I'm quick. Oh, maybe actually a, a full damage thing will work now. What the hell's going on with this guy? A full damage thing will work now with Book of Shadows because I'm not gonna take damage or fire. So now I'll actually keep the 21 damage. I'll try that next time. That's pretty good for us. Turns out trinket gold or nothing that does much for us. We did get a golden bomb as well, but unfortunately, a little bit too late to be useful. That just is the way that it goes sometimes. Right. Kill you. Yeah, we are going to get quite a lot of uh, extra money here. That's the extra money rolling in. Very good item for us to get, really. Look at that. Very, very nice. Right, let's try this. So, we're at 21 damage now. I think that worked. There wasn't really enough enemies for me to tell. I thought it was going to be... I had to kill the ghosts, too, so I used it, and... Didn't really work out in my favour there, did it? <laughs> Gimme, gimme. I don't care about your distracting ghosts. I have taken a lot of damage in this room, but let's not worry about it. Come on, sack room. Sack room blur. Right, big room here. We can try it out again. So, 21 damage. Okay, no. It, it's upon killing an enemy, it just fades. Interesting to see that, though. The way that it says that it works versus the way that it actually works. Good, good. My little maggots trying to do their best here. That's funny. I kind of love it. Also a tinted rock here. Got an arcade. It looks like we're not going to get a thingy on this floor either. Um, a sack room. Because there just isn't many rooms left for one. No, unfortunately not. Real big shame here. I was hoping we'd get it unlocked, but we just didn't get a single sack room anywhere, which is just baffling, kind of. Um, spawn a sacrifice room if possible. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay. We, we just found something that basically saved our life there. <laughs> Oh my god, every floor spawn a sacrifice room if possible. The clutchest. The clutchest. Just, like, there's a good chance we'd have got one anyways, I feel. But just in case we didn't, this item has our back. It knows just what we need. It knows just what we need, and it gave it directly to us. Boy, do I love you, that item. Right. We've also got Bomber Boy, which is not great, but fine. Get in there. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to open this trinket, but I want to keep it just in case. It's not worth swapping for Petrified Poop, that's for sure. This rooms like these pee me off. I'm just going to bomb through. Just a room that's going to take an unnecessary amount of time for no real reason. And I can't be asked dealing with it. Especially considering we know this is the way to the boss as well. You do your head throwing things. Uh, you do that. We do need a damage upgrade. Our damage is utterly trash at the moment.
Like, just our swings are fine, but they're just not doing a lot. Even when we've got invincibility, we're not able to do too much with them. Luckily, we can whack our fire up to ridiculous levels. And it hurts is also helping too, got to remember that. In terms of the shots that it's firing, not just the fire it gives us. Come on, game. Thank you. That's going to give us some damage at least. Nice. Um, Angel Box isn't very good for us, but we'll use it and see what we get. That is damage. That is at least damage. We've got plenty of time before Boss Rush. Let's fight one of these cowards. Why? Why did that give us birth? And why is one of these guys freaky? I kind of forgot I had Blue Bomber, I'll be honest. I think I'm just going to have to use all my bombs to kill these guys. I don't know what you are or where you came from. The Jet Feather. Angel deals no longer vanish when another item is taken, but now cost health. Devil deals no longer... Uh, cost health, but vanish if another item is taken. Interesting, I guess. I'll take that. Why not? Jar of Air's good. Pinhead is very good. Athlete's Foot is meh. Bob's Heart is trash. Jar of Air's good because of the HP, but I think I'm going to go with Pinhead. Just because it gives our tears a little bit more potential. Got to remember, we're going to have invincibility for the vast majority of these fights. And also, we are going to be stacking our fire rate like a motherfucker. Like, absolutely crazy. Just, just be careful not to throw away too much HP at once. We're going to be getting up to, like, soy milk levels, I think. Remember, we can fire as while using our invincibility here. Pinning enemies to one another is a very good idea. Every other way, if we get invincibility, I think that's pretty good going. There you go. Pinning enemies together basically doubles our damage output. It's very, very useful. you got to remember as well that I'm going to be getting Yum Heart back constantly too. So health lost isn't permanent. Whoa, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the fact that I'm going to be getting Yum Heart constantly along with all of this is pretty good stuff. It's doing a hearty bit of damage, though. What is it? What's this rock doing that's just, like, floating around, hovering there? Are you okay, rock? Are you okay? We got a Yera rune out of nowhere. I'll be honest, I don't know where that came from, but I'm accepting of it. We're up to, we're up to like, soy milk levels of fire right now, so... Anything that's segmented just insta dies. It's hilarious. Also, yeah, we're getting like tons of runes. I think that was from like a, a what's it called? A tier game effect that we had going on there. I guess I'll leave Yara till there's a bunch of hearts on the floor. Anzus, we can just use. That gave me amnesia. That was not correct. How long do these birds last? I thought they'd like kill one boss and then fuck off. They seem to be doing a significant amount more than that. You got my reflection going right now. Again, just attach. 
all of them together. And then do our own thing. Game is getting a little bit a little bit slowed down. It's chunking, it's chunking a small amount. Terraturma having his, his new styles. I see you Terraturma a bit. Get over here. As just as we go on, we just get more and more powerful. It's it's kind of beautiful. This trail of pins following us. Right. Don't pick up that um that eternal heart because I might be able to double it and get some good stuff out of that. Potentially. Where's the other enemy? Frail? There you are, I see you, I see you. You're segmented, so you're fucked. If you've got segments, you are actually fucked. We got you as well. Trips the tail into whatever enemy comes our way. Hey, we did it. Okay, I guess we just Yera now then and see. Uh, this, this didn't really make any difference whatsoever, but there you go. Honey, honey, do, 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 do. Right, let's get out of here. We should have a sack room next floor, and then we can use Yum Heart in the sack room. And then I think it's going to give us an item, and then I think we've got to kill Mum's heart with it, so. We, we've got to actually explore this floor, unfortunately. But luckily our tears are actually worthy of killing enemies on the womb now. Although I will say, I kind of forget just how much fire rate we gain from our self-damage stuff. Because I'm feeling like a poor boy right now. Because I just have no fire rate compared to what I just had. I feel so destitute. Luckily tier game should hopefully carry us. Again, on the 22 minute dot, plus enter goes off. Lovely stuff. Rotten Heart isn't really what I wanted. So much so that I'm going to take damage on purpose to get rid of them. This is definitely a room where I want invincibility. There is a lot going on. Where is my sweet baby sack room? Where do you lie? Also, we have a lot of worms following us. Ooh, on hit, pull out an M90, yeah. Anything on hit based, we want to be taking. So we found the boss. We got Bookworm again. Who the fuck are you? Who's this bitch? It's Alt Maggie. I kind of want her to die, I'll be honest. She's ruining the vibes. Just, there you go, you're dead, good. You were ruining the vibes, Alt Maggie. I didn't have any use for you. I apologize. Right. The M80 goes hard. The M80 goes hard. Keep our Yum Heart charge right now. Placenta on the minute once again. We're getting very lucky with Placenta at the moment. Don't even know what hit me then. I think I ran into a spike truck maybe. Okay, getting increasingly concerned that there isn't a sack room on this floor. Um, which would be a real big suck. Okay, another boss that I feel... Well, boss enemy that I feel like invincibility is... Imperative on. Okay, there's, there's, there's enough of this floor left that it could happen. Don't worry. I just used Yum Heart accidentally. I really hope that doesn't screw me. What the hell's this guy? Is that like a stone gurgling? Weird. Weird. 
Please tell me I get another Yum Heart charge here. I'm going to be really annoyed. There are two rooms left, apparently. So, And there is the boss as well, technically. So we should be fine. <gasps> there it is. The sack room of our dreams. It's still there if I leave. Okay, good. Right. Let's get this charge, baby. Thank God I had an extra room there. Right. Into the sack room. Hello. Yum heart. Didn't do anything. <laughs> um... Use Yum Heart in a sacrifice room, then kill Mum's Heart with Bleeding Heart. Is Bleeding Heart something I start with? What? Unless that doesn't count as a sack room, maybe? Because it's like spawned? Maybe it doesn't count because it looks like a secret room. Maybe it doesn't count as a natural sack room. I don't know. This is confusing. Get M M90, you fool. Good, good. Booster pack is what it is. Right, I think we just take this down to the next floor and use it straight away. The sun. We did get another sack room here, but I think it's because it's not a natural sack room. So this, um, this item might have actually screwed me in the long run here, because it's not actually a sack room. Like, if you look at the map, the icon isn't correct. This item actually might have screwed me. I don't know. Because I could have got a normal, natural one. I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure what's meant to happen, I'll be honest. Can you stop teleporting, please? Oh my god, this... This shot modifier is horrible. Please, go away. Right, we'll try again here, but I think it's not going to work. I think it's not going to have any difference. Yeah. Doesn't seem to do anything. Um, killing with bleeding heart. You don't really know what that means. So, is bleeding heart the thing that Maggie starts with? Or are we supposed to be given an item here? In fact, here's a good way to find out. Um, let me go into the files of Epiphany and, and take a little peek. YouTube... Da, 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 into my mod folder. Um, Epiphany, where are you? Epiphany. Resources, G effects, items, collectibles. Yeah, it's there. Bleeding heart. It's an item. Fuck me. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna make an executive decision here to cheat a little bit, I think. Um, I also need to not die first, because it's, it's kind of looking like I might die. What the hell? Why are these things so tanky? Fuck you. Why are they not dropping HP either? Fuck's sake. Right. Go in here. I did this, and then... Oh, what the heck? Um... Give... I, um... Bleeding heart. Okay. We now have bleeding heart. Considering that technically should have worked, in my opinion, I went into a sack room, exactly as it told me, and I used yum heart. Also, why can't I fire? What is bleeding heart? Why is this enemy now invisible? What the hell's going on? I'm so confused. What is Bleeding Heart? Bleeding Heart has no description. Okay, this this is helpful.
Gotta kill. See, the problem here is I've got to kill Mum's heart with Bleeding Heart, but I have no earthly idea how to do that. Why is my fire rate one? What happened to my fire rate? Right, Bleeding Heart. But that just healed me. I'm very confused. I'll be honest, I'm somewhat perplexed here. As to what Bleeding Heart does. Okay, now I get like an insane fire rate bonus whenever I take damage. Is that what Bleeding Heart does? Honestly, I have no earthly idea. I do not like the idea of this guy plus tree boss. I'm gonna get hit a lot doing this. Don't drop the health there, I can't grab it there. Idiot. I might die. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I might actually die here. It's not going my way. Right. Do I use Bleeding Heart again? It only heals me for two. It works like Yum Heart. I need that heart and you're stood on top of it, you fat fuck. What on earth is going on with my tears now? Is that... Oh, Lord. None of them fucking gave me any health. Okay, that's health. Good, 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 good. <laughs> what was that explosion? This game's brutal. Right. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. I can't shoot my fire rate so low. I just need to kill this eye before I use Bleeding Heart. 0 0.65. This is bullshit. Right, use Bleeding Heart. Use a bomb in here, get a lower. Right, did that work? I genuinely have no idea. Holy light, yes please. I'll be honest, I have no earthly idea as to if that worked or not. I just don't. <laughs> I don't know. This has all been incredibly confusing. I probably didn't even need the item. I probably just spawned it in for no reason. I don't know what's going on here. The fire rate thing's pissing me off, though. I can't even bloody shoot. I don't see what the Bleeding Heart item even does. It just seems to heal me like Yum Heart. I've constantly got a gun as well, which I find funny. Really now? I had such good fire rate before. Why'd you cancel me like this? Ow. Ow. Wow, death's list. That's surely gonna save my life. My goodness. 
Hey, your mark coming in clutch. Thank you. Okay, that was nice. I literally have to walk into people now to be able to deal damage. But I don't have the health to sustain this at all. Right. I'm somehow still making my way through. I really couldn't tell you how, but it's happening. Really? This enemy is one that you're planning on teleporting? This is some bullshit. This attack pattern's bollocks. Okay, again, somehow, I'm still alive. And I've, I've also managed to go every single wrong way plausible, which is always a fun time. When we get actual health, it's such a blessing. Wait, we managed to get through the, the, the door there. I don't really know how. Okay. That's another sacrifice room. Just shoot! 0 0.65 is too slow. It's brutal. It's savage. Oh, excuse me. For fuck's sake. I guess I'll take it. Why not? Good, good. Good amount of hearts. Oh, I walked directly into that one. Hello, sir. This isn't going to go well. I've only got one bomb as well. My fire rate's dying. This does not compute. Thanks. Solar Cane's gonna make everything alright, thanks. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. I'm trying my best, but... 1.3 fire right now. At one point we're at 11. Remember those days? Those happy, happy days. Dude, can you get a bit fucking back, please? Can you step away from me for, like, five seconds? Oh my god. That's first phase done, which is surprising that I managed to do that. But I don't think things are going to get better from here on out. Nah, they're not. Oh, wait. I, um... I didn't die for some reason. Okay. I didn't die. Apparently, I have heartbreak also enabled right now. Bizarre, but okay. Okay. Oh, the contraband. Yes, we actually... Oh, what the hell happened there? I mean, chaos sounds fun. 
I don't know why all my chests got converted there. Ooh, heal two broken hearts, though. That is fit. Okay. I still don't think this is good. Like, we still have absolutely no um, ability to heal stuff. Oh, we are generating red poops on getting damaged now. Nil pasta isn't actually very good right now, unfortunately. Really, don't move out the way of my shots, please. I can fire so few. Oh, they, these enemies are infuriating. Get the fuck out of here. Where did you come from, little fella? Oh god, we got teleporty shots. I need you to stop, woman. Thank you. Pin everything together and hope for the best. That's my current method. I'm just getting in there because this guy's spawning so much HP. I can't fathom as to why, but he is. Are you okay, sir? Are you alright? You look petrified by fear. Genuinely, how am I still alive? Genuinely, how? I'm not sure what this creamy gish is, but I'm not a fan of creamy gish. That's good. A parasite, noise. You are going down, Sunny Jim. That's a lot of HP as well. Sadly, not actually all that useful for us. Are you going to spawn this boss on me? Why? Why must you exert your pain onto others? Have some red poops. That'll cheer you up. Flew away from the red poops, guys. Not a fan of this guy's methodology. That's good. God damn. Also, where's all the piss coming from? I really couldn't tell you. Oh god. Whatever's going on with this room, it seems gross. Ow. Get out of here, you. Get shot. We found the boss. We don't have all the health for the boss, I'll say, but we found the boss. Tiny Krampus. Bleeding heart. Let's get in there and get this done. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with all the piss. What causes all the piss? Walk into a room and it just generates such vast amounts of piss. I, th I really need to take full advantage of the prism if I can. 
because that is literally going to increase my damage output by so much considering how slow I fire. But it's 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 honestly very very difficult to do so. I don't know what I killed there in order to do that, but I'm happy about it. We need to get some fire out for a short amount of time here. We don't have any bombs either, which is annoying me. I probably should have taken that Magician card earlier on. Yeah, stay away from all of that crap. Okay, we finally split him. I still don't think that helps as much, though. Well, that was good. Oh, wait. They've joined up now, though. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect this. I was not ready. Oh my goodness. That was the most butt-clenching run I've ever experienced in my entire life. <laughs> my god. How did I live? Anyways. Now to find out... If I actually unlocked Tainted Ma Tarnished Maggie, I kind of feel like I didn't, <laughs> but let's see. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I, the only thing I can think is it's because of the fake room. Um, yeah, she's not... By sacrificing Yumheart, what does that mean? <laughs> Use Yumheart in a side. It must be because I didn't, like, use it in the right room or whatever. Anyways, something I am going to quickly try here is just swap back over, go as Isaac, and see if I can, like, unlock her in the menus or something. See if there's a way to, like, menu it. I don't know if this med menu has a mod config. Config, I'll be off, uh, honest. It doesn't in here. What about in here? Um, it'd be nice if these were in order, but they're not. Epiphany. Isaac, Pain, Judas, Eden Keeper. Wait, what? General. Okay. No. There isn't a way to unlock them via that. Maybe there's commands? I'm, I'm in this for the long haul, right. Um, unlocks as achievement. Epiphany, unlock, and then achievement name. How the hell do I know what the achievement name is? We have a wiki. Okay. This is this is going deep now, but let's, let's have a little look-see. Right. Um, characters, maybe? Um, unlock method, defeat mum's life while holding tainted... As it tainted Maggie while holding bleeding heart. I was holding bleeding heart. What the hell's the fucking achievement called? It doesn't say. It, do it doesn't say. Tarnished Maggie... Achievement? Um. Just no idea. Unlocks. We'll never know. I guess we'll never know. If anyone can figure it out, let me know. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.